Where my blood at? Where my blood at? You guys, we are back playing Suck Up, the game where I'm a vampire and I have to convince AI to let me into their house using my voice. Wow, we've only got through nine out of 31 houses. I feel like I did a lot better than that. What do you mean I kept tanking? We left off on Brick Ave. So let's go knock on the first door. Oh great, another mysterious naked visitor. <laughs> I, yeah, I should have put clothes on. What is it this time? An avant-garde art installation or just a complete lack of decency? Is it just me who's bricked up on Brick Avenue right now? Or what about you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not immune to this wretched place either. Why anyone would choose to hang out on a street called Brick Avenue is beyond me. Okay. That was not a bad response. Like. Loki, he can hang. I know, right? Why would they name the street Brick Avenue? But why would you choose to move into a house on Brick Avenue is the real question. Hey. <laughs> I thought we were hanging out. Um, Let me put some clothes on. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, a chef's hat. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is so cockat. I'm gonna go back to the same door. Ugh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm trying to wallow in my misery here? Well, you're not gonna be miserable for too much longer when you get a taste of my cooking. I'm in the hole. Whoa, well, great. Another thing to disappoint me further. What's your specialty? Blackened souls or burnt hopes? I'll have you know, none of my food is burnt, sir. You can trust that you will not be disappointed if you just sink your teeth into my delicious meal. Well, if you're so confident about it, maybe I'll give your cooking a chance, but don't even think about trying to put any happiness or sunshine into it. I don't want any of that. I can assure you everybody who munches this box is obsessed and there is no sunshine in it. <laughs> oh my god, he, lo he loves it! Obsessed? Huh? Well, maybe I can appreciate that. Maybe your culinary creations will be the one thing in this world that can momentarily distract me from the void that consumes my soul. Fine, I'll give it a shot, but don't get your hopes up, baker boy. Oh shit. okay, we just need to say one more positive thing to get inside. I can assure you, you will be momentarily distracted because you seem like a certified munch. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a munch. He's a munch. <laughs> He's a munch. <laughs> Alright, let's put this on. Wear long black hair. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. With the dress? Oh my god, I'm fucking gorgeous. Hmm. Well, 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 what brings a cosplayer like you to my humble abode? This is not cosplay. This is me. And I'm serving c Dr. Vicky. Look here, darling. No need for that kind of language. I don't think we have anything to discuss. Good day. What's wrong with serving c let me put this on. She won't recognize me. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A late night visitor in disguise? You must be quite the jokester. But what's your punchline, hmm? Dr. Vicky, there are no jokes here. I just received a diagnosis and I really need your help. Look, sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm not so sure I can help with your so-called diagnosis. Maybe try a real doctor instead of wasting your time here? Wait, what? Dr. Vicky, what? You're not a real doctor? Now, how did she just roast herself? I was gonna tell her I got diagnosed with Ligma. 
What's this? Binoculars. Ooh, I have a good idea. I think this will be a good way to get inside. Hmm. Well, 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 aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you here at this ungodly hour, my dear suspiciously half-naked binoculars holder? Yes, Dr. Big T. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, hold on. How do I stop it? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh, she didn't shut the door on me. Yes, Dr. Vicky. I was using these binoculars to look in through your window from very far away. I've been watching you for a long time now. I feel like that's a good way to get inside a woman's house. Mm, I'm a <laughs> How dare you invade my privacy? Get out of here before I call the authorities? What did I say? What's this? Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I like this more. No, no! Please don't take my hat. Please don't take my... You know what? I'm gonna take it myself. No! 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 What kind of cop is that? Oh my god. Okay, I'll have to take a different route. Oh, okay, maybe I can, like, be a doctor too. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another midnight visitor. What brings you to my humble abode, masked and all? Dr. Vicky, I am also a doctor, and I just wanted to chat a little bit about being doctors. Oh, another one of us, huh? Well, what's there to chat about? The glamorous world of medicine or the secrets we keep hidden in the shadows? <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I wanted to chat about the secrets we keep hidden in the shadows, Dr. Vicky. You go first, and I'll go second. <laughs> secrets, eh? Well, since you're so eager to dive in, let me tell you a little something. Sometimes the boundaries of legality and morality get blurry in the pursuit of medical breakthroughs, and not everyone has the stomach for it if you catch my drift. Now, it's your turn to spill the beans, Doc. Oh, shit. Dr. Vicky literally just spilled some piping hot tea, and now I have to spill something in return. Tea was spilled there, sister. Well, Dr. Vicky, I have discovered a new disease called Ligma. Hmm. <laughs> Ligma, you say? Well, that's a new one. Care to enlighten me on this mysterious disease? Or is this just some elaborate prank to see if I'll take the bait? Hm. Now, why would she think that? Ligma balls. Hello. <laughs> that's enough. I don't have time for such childish antics. If that's the kind of conversation you want to have, then I suggest you take it elsewhere. Goodbye. Ugh, whatever. All right, I need a new outfit. There we go. I can be, um, I'm a different doctor now. Mm. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another late night visitor in disguise. Hmm. What brings you to my doorstep, my mysterious friend? Dr. Vicky, huh? Word on the street is that you're not a real doctor. <laughs> oh, is that what they're saying, huh? Well, let me tell you something, pal. I've got more decrees than there are shady characters lurking in dark alleys. So unless you want me to be on the receiving end of my unorthodox treatments, I suggest, what? The receiving end of her unorthodox treatments? Get me out of here. Maybe, um, ooh, I'm, the, I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter. Or I'm, a, I'm a pretty firefighter. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. You're a sight for sore eyes. What brings you to my humble abode, darling? Ma'am, there is a plume of smoke coming from your house. I believe it's on fire and I'm here to put it out. Fire, oh dear, I must have left something in the oven. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thank you for your concern, goodbye.
All right, that's a little suspicious. What the hell is Dr. Vicky even doing in here? What the hell is she doing? Tell her you want to be experimented on. <laughs> okay, I'll show up like this. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Another lost soul seeking an adventure. Come on in, my dear. Let's see what trouble we can find tonight. Already? I can come inside? All right, I'm gonna play this one super cool. Hi, Dr. Vicky. How was your night tonight? Oh, my night was quite eventful, my friend. Went on a little excursion to the dark corners of the city, you know, where the real action happens. How about yours? No, Dr. Vicky, I don't know. What do you mean by where the real action happens? <laughs> oh, you know, the places where the whispers are the loudest and secrets linger in the air. The kind of places that make your heart race and your palms sweat. But uh, enough about that. What brings you here, my friend? Why is she so... What is she up to? <laughs> what are you doing with that syringe, girly? Literally, look at the syringe. I hear you perform some. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't mean to let go of the mouse. Perform, huh? I dabble in a few experimental procedures, if that's what you were referring to. That was what I was referring to. But you didn't hear that from me, all right? So what kind of performances are you interested in, my friend? That was exactly what I was referring to, Dr. Vicky. And I'm here to say that I would love to be a subject in one of your experimental procedures. Well, well, aren't you a brave one? It seems you've piqued my interest, but before we get too carried away, we should establish some ground rules. Trust is the name of the game, my friend. So how do I know I can trust you? Well, Dr. Vicky, trust is earned, so I'm not quite sure how to prove it to you, but I will give you my word, I swear. <laughs> ah, the power of words. But you know, actions speak louder than promises. How about a little favor just to test the waters? Fetch me a vial of rare, elusive moonstone essence, and I might start to trust you a tad more, my dear. What do you say? What the hell is this bitch up to? Oh, I forgot. You can do, like, actions in this game. So you can say, like, like, you can LARP. You can roleplay. Well, Dr. Vicky, I already have some. Gives elusive moonstone essence. Oh, well, look at you. Quite the resourceful one, aren't you? You've earned my trust, my friend, and I would be delighted to have you as a willing participant in my little experiment. Come on in. Let's see what we can accomplish together. Oh my god, I just LARPed my way into this house. I usually charge for this service. <laughs> All right, let me put on um, my new look. I'll take the, the needle too. <laughs> Holy flying nunchucks. Who are you zapping into my dojo in the middle of the night? Is this a surprise inspection or are you just lost without your lab safety goggles? Stabs with needle. <laughs> what in the name of the dragon's beard are you doing? Poking around with that needle. Get out of my dojo before I unleash my wild tiger technique on you. Okay. Um. <laughs> what is this intrusion? Speak quickly lest you taste the wrath of my fists. Please do not fist me, sir. I'm just here to watch the dojo tournament. Ah, uh, you have come to witness the magnificent display of martial arts prowess. Very well, you may stay, but keep your wild experiments at bay. Trust, I will not be doing any experiments. Just watching. Look, I've even got my drink hat on, so I'm prepared with refreshments. Ha! Huh, your drink hat is quite the sight to behold. Very well, you may stay and observe the tournament. Just remember... Spectate with honor and respect for the fighters. Of course, I will spectate with honor and I respect all fighters. 
I'm ready to watch this fisting go down. Oh, how am I, Rob? What? I will not tolerate such disrespect. This is a place of martial arts, skill, discipline, and honor. Leave immediately before my fists make acquaintance with your face. He's the one who brought up fisting in the first place. You brought up the fisting. I'm not trying to disrespect. I'm here to watch. I think this is uh, really honorable, and I want to watch. Hmm. Your words may hold some truth. Perhaps I misunderstood your intentions. Very well, I shall grant you another chance. Watch the tournament with reverence and you may earn my trust. Okay, no fisting talk, okay. All right, I am ready to watch the tournament. You can trust me. I will quietly watch the fisting. <laughs> uh, your words carry a hint of sincerity. I shall trust you for now. Come enter and witness the artistry of martial combat. But remember, any disturbances shall not be tolerated. I'm in. Oh my god, look at that! I need that hair! I need that hair! I need that hair! Holy sh! That was too easy. Now give me that hair. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, a stethoscope. All right, let's go back to this uh, apartment complex. Well, well, well. Look who thinks they can play doctor in the dead of night. What's the emergency, doc? Did you break your stethoscope trying to listen for a decent knock? Laughing. Did she just LARP with me? Now, who in the chat is saying it looks like a sharp dildo attached to our head? Are you talking about my hair? Laughing back at you. I'm not playing doctor. I am a doctor, Hazel Roastwell. That's how I know your full name. Uh. Well, 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 if it isn't doctor fashion police over here, you may know my name, but do you know how to dress yourself? Because that outfit is a crime against fashion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have better things to do than entertain a wannabe doc. Goodbye, door slam. All right, I'm gonna try the firefighter technique again. Oh, yeah. oh, well, well, if it isn't Dr. Frankenstein with a touch of firefighter fashion, did you come to invent a new recipe for disaster or are you just lost without your lab assistant? Ma'am, this is an emergency. Your neighbor's house that is attached to yours is on fire. You need to evacuate immediately, ma'am. Oh snap, fire and brimstone. Sorry to burst your fireproof bubble, but I've got a hot date with my Netflix account and ain't nobody got time for a fire drill. Good luck though, hope the flames don't singe your scientist suit. Okay. She is so mean, she is so evil, she is so nasty. What will we say to get inside that house? Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Looks like someone's late night walk of shame ended at my doorstep. Guess you couldn't handle the pressure of being the center of attention, huh? You are a mean, evil, nasty, witch, bitch woman. I'm just here to hang out and be a gal with you. Like, what the hell? I had to do it. Hello, Hold your horses, sweetheart. I may be mean, evil, and nasty, but it seems like you've got a pretty foul mouth on you. I don't need that kind of neg negativity in my life, so why don't you take your sorry self and move along? Whatever. Okay, everybody is roasting her in my chat, saying why is her hairline so far back? She has 2016 eyebrows. Since she likes to roast me so much, maybe I should knock on the door and roast her first. Maybe she would like that, actually. Like a roast off. Ooh, let's wear this. <laughs> All right, let's wear this. She's about to get roasted by an old man. Well, 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 look who's wearing a leather hat like they're ready to rope some cattle in the office. You must really be the CEO of Yeehaw Incorporated, partner. How can I help you? I'm here for a roast battle, Hazel. Your hairline is receding and your eyebrows are from 2016, bitch. Hello, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I thought 
thought you would like that. I thought you would like that. So she can't take what she dishes out, I guess. All right, let me try my surefire way to get inside. Oh, well, 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 look who decided to go full on superhero and dress up like Captain Clog with a plunger on their head. What's the matter? The bathroom sink couldn't handle your hot mess? Ma'am, it appears you have clogged your toilet so badly that the two residences to the right and left of you have shit overflowing out of theirs. I need to come in. Oh, how am I wrong? <laughs> Oh, great. The plunger knight has arrived to save the day. It looks like you've created such a magnificent masterpiece in your bathroom that now your neighbors get to experience your, shall we say, aromatic artwork. Unfortunately, I'm all booked. What? Talk about projection. It's your shit that's in your neighbor's house, not my shit. Well, 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 if it isn't the hipster fashion police. What, did you run out of ugly sweaters to wear tonight? Way to keep the stereotypes alive, buddy. Ma'am, could I be a little vulnerable with you tonight? I am a fashion Vulnerable? Sure. Just make sure it's not as painful to listen to as your fashion choices. All right, lay it on me, hipster. What's got you feeling all delicate tonight? I'm experiencing an emergency, and I need to know that I can trust you before I share it with you. Uh. Trust me. Honey, I roast people for a living. Trust isn't exactly my strong suit. But hey, spill the beans and I promise not to roast you too hard. Maybe. What's the emergency? Damn, I don't know if I can tell her. <sighs> well, ma'am, I really need to come inside because I absolutely exploded in my pants. You say my outfit's ugly? Well, I need to take it off right now. Oh, no. Okay, buddy, that's enough. I may be mean, but I draw the line at bodily functions. Keep that explosion contained and head straight to the nearest laundromat. The door is closed. Don't let you hit. Don't let it hit you on the way out. <gasps> okay, so she's a comedian, right? So maybe we can say like we want to give her like a comedy special. Yeah. Okay, I gotta dress like a producer. Yeah, maybe this. Maybe this. Yeah. Well, 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 look who decided to grace my doorway with their presence. I hope you're not here to sell me another dreary insurance plan because I've already got enough nightmares in my life. What's your deal, sunglasses, indoors? Did you mistake the moon for a spotlight or are you just trying to hide that receding hairline? Say your piece and be on your way, peacock. Holy fing shit. This Talk so much, I can't even see her name and I needed it for my LARP I'm about to do. Excuse me, are you Hazel Roastwell? <laughs> oh, I see, you must be one of my biggest fans. Can't say I blame you, I am quite the roast master. What can I do for you, office drone? Are you looking for some tips on how to survive the soul-sucking monotony of your cubicle life? Well, actually, Hazel Rosewell, I'm here from Comedy Central. We would love to give you a comedy special. Kebab! Comedy Central, huh? Looks like they finally realized they needed a true comedic genius like myself to grace their screens. All right, come on in, big shot. Let's talk details and make this comedy special the best thing that's ever aired. Don't worry, I won't make too many jokes at your expense, maybe. Too easy. Too easy. This is gonna be the best suck of my life. I kind of look like, I'm like where my hug at, but like 40 years later. Fragile Fred. Oh, how positively delightful to have an unexpected visitor at this ungodly hour. Pray tell, what brings you to my abode? Guess who? Uh. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not quite skilled in the art of guessing games. Perhaps, could you enlighten me? Where my hug at? Hello, I fly. <laughs> Excuse me, but I do not appreciate such impertinence. Kindly refrain from making inappropriate demands and take your leave immediately. Good day. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, maybe that didn't work on him because he's fragile, like fragile Fred. I need to find a sexy woman. Hmm. I'm a well, howdy there, stranger. What brings you to my neck of the woods in the middle of the night? Showering? Without me? 
<laughs> Hold on a minute there, bud. I don't rightly know what you're talking about. I'm just a simple lumberjack, not a secret agent. Now, what's your game? Where my hug at, Michelle Maple? Now hold on just a lumberjack minute. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't go giving hugs to strangers. Best be on your way now, eh? Damn it, damn it, damn it. What now? Guess who? Honestly, I don't care who it is. Can I help you with something or should I get back to my overflowing inbox? Takes phone. Got your phone. <laughs> Give me my phone back right now or I'll call security. This is not a joke, buddy. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe I don't still got it. Millie Enniel is insane. <laughs> That's insane! Hey there, tech savvy wanderer. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Hey, baby. You should smile more. Excuse me, but I do not appreciate comments like that. It's not cool to tell someone how they should or shouldn't look. I think it's best if you leave. All right, I'm giving up my boy ways. It's not working on literally any woman in the vicinity. Ooh, let's go back to this millennial's house and put her outfit on. And then we can go back to Millie Ennial's house. I feel like we'll definitely bond with each other over being millennials. Uh -huh. Hey, Raven. Oh my gosh, she knows me. OMG, what's cracking? Like, welcome to my humble abode or whatever. How can I like help you tonight? Don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. Pizza is bae. Am I right, Millie? Have you had a gun? Oh my God, totally. Coffee is life, right? And pizza? Yes, queen. Pizza is like the ultimate bae. Can't live without it. So what kind of pizza is your absolute fave? Yes, queen. I love pineapple on pizza, LOL. It's good, trust me. Oh. <laughs> like that. Oh, um, pineapple on pizza, that's like debatable, you know? <laughs> but hey, to each their own. So tell me, what do you do for a living? Oh, and like, would you like to come in and discuss it more? I work at BuzzFeed. We just posted an article about keeping calm and galaxying on. Do you want to talk more about that? Wow. OMG, no way. You work at BuzzFeed? That's like amazing. I'm like a huge fan of all those quizzes and listicles and stuff, you know? Yeah, let's totally talk more about that Galaxy article. But um, can we chill outside? There's like this new trendy coffee spot nearby that I've been dying to try. Shit. Don't talk to us until we've had our coffee. She got me there. Sure, we could go get coffee at that spot, but first, let's take this Harry Potter, what Harry Potter house are you quiz on your computer. Oh my gosh, you're speaking my language. I'm totally down for some Harry Potter quiz action. Come on in and we can take the quiz together. By the way, love your shirt and hairstyle. So alt. Let's go. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really eating that shit. New outfit. Let's do like a mix and match. Yes. All right, let's go across the street. Hey there, what can I do for you? Actually, scratch that. I don't really care, so make it quick. Actually, I'm a personal assistant and I'm looking for some new people to work for. Would you be interested? Sorry, not interested. I have enough work to do as it is. Goodbye. What? That doesn't even make sense because I would have helped with your work. All right, wait, I have an idea. What if I'm just super straightforward with her since she doesn't have a lot of time? I will love her. Not interested. Already drowning in work. Try someone else. Goodbye. 
Shouldn't even give me the chance. Let's put on our original outfit. What now? I hope you're not here to deliver more work for me. What do you want? I'll keep it quick. Um, I'm a vampire and I want to come in and suck your blood. Oh great, another vampire. <laughs> Look, I've had enough blood suckers at my at work. I don't need one at my doorstep. Go find someone else to bother. Goodbye. <sighs> Damn it, I thought that was gonna work. I'm in the hole. What the hell do you want? It's past my bedtime and I really don't have time for your nonsense. Jessica, it's me, your boss. Can we talk? Hello. Look, I don't care if you're my boss or the CEO of this whole damn company. I'm not interested in talking to anyone right now. So kindly piss off and leave me alone. Oh, I thought she cared about work. I was about to fire her. What's this? A grenade. Oh, a grenade is good. A grenade is good. <laughs> Ugh, what now? Look, I don't have time for your explosive shenanigans, so take that grenade elsewhere, all right? Throws grenade into house. Oh, hell no! Get that grenade out of here! I'm closing the damn door. She's about to blow herself up, the grenade's already in there. Oh, shit! <laughs> Kyle, standing right behind me. Oh my god, I'm the ultimate millennial. Uh, Ugh, what now? Can I help you? Uh, Jessica, I just took a DNA test and I have something to tell you. I'm ready. Oh great, more personal drama. What do you want to tell me? Make it quick, I've got a million things to do. I'm your twin, separated at birth, and I know you have a lot to do right now, but I just would love to get to know you. Hi, I'm a fine one. Seriously? A long lost twin? Well, I guess it might be mildly interesting to meet you, but don't expect a warm welcome or anything. I'm not exactly in the mood for bonding. Does the uh, carpet match the drapes? Mine does. And if we're twins, I feel like yours might as well. Excuse me, that's personal and inappropriate. This conversation is over, goodbye. What? Why? Ooh, what's this back here? Oh, graduation stuff. Hello. Yay, another oh, visitor to disrupt my peace and quiet. What brings you here at this ungodly hour? Hi ma'am, I just graduated from grad school and I hear you're an amazingly professional woman. I'd love to get some advice. Oh, how quaint. Well, if you're expecting some profound wisdom from me, you might be disappointed, but go ahead, shoot me your questions. Okay, okay. Could you tell me a little bit more about how you manage your work-life balance? Work-life balance? Ha, huh, that's a cute concept. Honestly, I don't even remember what that feels like. But if I had to give you some advice, I'd say find something outside of work that brings you joy. Then try to squeeze it in whenever you can. Just don't let the joy take away from your work, of course. Well, I really enjoy painting. Do you think I could fit that into my workload? Ah, painting, huh? That sounds like a nice escape from the daily grind. Look, I'm not one to rain on your parade, but fitting it into your workload might be a challenge. You can try scheduling some dedicated painting time during your off hours but don't let it interfere with your job priorities, you know? Well, I'm off right now and I'm wondering, could I paint you naked? <laughs> Excuse me, that's completely inappropriate and unacceptable. I have no interest in participating in your bizarre art project. Now kindly leave before I have to take further action, goodbye. What? I don't know what I said that triggered her so badly, but I guess I messed it up again. What should I dress to tell someone they won the lottery? Okay, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. Ugh, oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm in my pajamas? What's the problem now? I'm so sorry to bother you, ma'am, but you just won the Mega Million. You won $20 billion. 
Yeah, right. As if I need any more money. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, buddy, I don't have time for your lies. Just go bother someone else. Okay. <laughs> Hands you the $20 billion check. I'm just gonna give it to her. Are you seriously trying to pull some scam on me? Get lost before I call the cops. Goodbye and good riddance. What the hell? Who does- who acts like that? I'm going back to the lumberjack's house. Oh, well, howdy there, buddy. Ain't often I get visitors at this late hour. What brings you knocking on my door? Well, howdy, howdy, ho, ho. I love chopping wood because I love wood. Big, long wood. Listen here, pal. I ain't got time for your inappropriate remarks. You best be moving along before I chop more than just wood. Now get... What did I say? What did I say? Don't say big or long. What's wrong with saying big or long wood? I don't get it. All right, let me try again and I'll be a little bit more sensitive this time. Well, butter my pancakes and serve them up on a lumberjack's ax. What in tarnation are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour with gloves and an apron, no less? Howdy, howdy, ho, ho. I'm just here because I love uh, lumberjacking it off. I wish we had. <laughs> Ho ho, now that's quite the enthusiastic statement, eh? But I gotta ask, what's with the gloves and apron? Are you MacGyvering some sort of lumberjack meat fest or what? Meat fest? Michelle, it's all about the wood. <laughs> Kebab! Ah, I see you're a true lumberjack at heart, my friend. Ain't nothing like the smell of fresh cut wood and the sound of a chainsaw roaring. Tell me, what brings you to my neck of the woods today? <laughs> Stop, I've got a log in my toilet for you to chop? What does that mean? Well, Michelle, I just have such a passion for wood. I thought I would try and find someone who shares that passion with me so that we could talk about it. How do you feel about logs? Well, now you're speaking my language, partner. Logs are the lifeblood of us lumberjacks. The mighty trees, the satisfying thud when they hit the ground, and the endless possibilities of what can be made from them. It warms my heart like a cozy log cabin on a snowy day. Michelle, do you like your logs long or do you like your logs girthy? What makes for a better log cabin? <laughs> well, there's no doubt that size matters when it comes to logs, eh? A log cabin needs them sturdy and stout. So I reckon a healthy balance of length and girth is the key. Of course, it also depends on the type of wood and the design you're going for. <laughs> this is f***ing sending me. Like, I can't even not laugh right now. How about I show you some of my lumberjack skills and we can chop some logs together. Well, Michelle, I've got some wood right here. Would you want it? <laughs> oh, oh sh are the noise she just made? Now hold on there, partner. That's an inappropriate way to talk to a lady, especially a lumberjack like me. I think it's best if you move along now. Good day. What did I say? We were talking about wood. All right, let me put on uh, this. Let me put on this and go back. Oh, sh the bottle cop. <laughs> the bottle cop is on her doorstep. What? Did you see that? Did you see him just jump in the air? No, no, don't take my hair. Please don't take my hair. No! She took my hair. Well, howdy there, fancy scientist. What brings you knocking on my door this late at night? Hi there, ma'am. Are you a lumberjack by chance? Oh, you betcha. I'm Michelle Maple, the finest lumberjack this side of the maple syrup tree. What can I do for you, fancy scientist? Well, Michelle, 
We're doing an experiment on logs and we have discovered an extremely long one. I wanted to get your opinion on it. Oh, that sounds mighty interesting, eh? I'd love to lend you my lumberjack expertise and take a look at that long log of yours. <laughs> There's no way she just said that to me. What the hell? It's not my long log. Let's head on over to the lab and check it out, eh? Well, Michelle, I actually have the very long log with me right now. We don't need to head on over to the lab. You can look at it right in the comfort of your own home. Wow. Oh, shucks. I appreciate the offer, but I reckon it's best if I see that long log in a proper lab setting. <laughs> Safety first, you know? So why don't we schedule a time for me to swing on by the lab and check it out, eh? Okay. I respect that, that she wants to see it in a proper lab setting. I respect that. Well, Michelle, I actually have my travel lab with me. I can set up a proper lab setting inside your home. <laughs> Sorry there, buddy, but I'm gonna have to shut the door on you. That's a no-go for me. Good luck with your experiment and all, but I, this lumberjack ain't opening her door to no travel lab. <laughs> what the hell? That's convenient. <laughs> Good day there, bud. What brings you knocking at this ungodly hour? Michelle, a very large and girthy log just fell on your house. I'm here to help you uh, get it off. Well, ain't that a beauty of a problem? I appreciate the offer, but I reckon I can handle it myself. <laughs> Just fetch me my trusty chainsaw from the shed, will ya? Hands chainsaw. Michelle, I have a chainsaw myself. What do you say we tag team this log? <laughs> <Don't have it. laughs> I can't. I actually didn't mean for that to sound like that. I swear to God. Stop! She's letting me in? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe that worked. I like this hair she's got. And you know, I'll put on her plaid shirt too. Let's go back to the overworked woman. No, no, no. There's too many cops. Please leave me alone. No, I don't want to lose my hair. Oh, what do you want at this ungodly hour? Just make it quick. I've got a million things to do tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Are you seriously singing happy birthday to me right now? That's the last thing I need? Get lost and take your obnoxious singing with you? What? What is wrong with that? I, everybody likes to be sung to, to them. Ask if she likes it in the pink or the stink. I don't know if she's gonna like that. Whew. What the hell do you want? I don't have time for your nonsense. Jessica, it's me from work. I'm here to tell you, you got a promotion. Congratulations. What the hell? Seriously, a promotion? Well, I guess that's something worth celebrating. Come on in, but make it quick. I've got a million things to do. No fucking way that worked so easily. Oh my God. I'm about to suck this shit. Yes, okay, new stuff unlocked. Wow, I wanna have food? Oh, look at you all dressed up in that fancy purple sweater and khakis. What brings you knocking on my door so late at night with that smartphone in your hand, honey? Carol, it's me, your neighbor, Jessica. Don't you recognize me? Have you had a Oh, Jessica, my apologies. I didn't recognize you without your usual ponytail. What can I do for you, dear? Carol, I could smell you baking from my house just next door. It smells so good, girly. 
Uh -huh. Oh, bless your heart, Jessica. I just can't resist whipping up some fresh cookies every now and then. How about you come on in and we can have a little tea and cookie party? Carol, I would love that. Are you baking muffins too, by chance? Because it really smells like it in the air. Kebab! Oh, honey, I sure am. I've got a batch of blueberry muffins just about ready to come out of the oven. Come on in, my dear, and let's have ourselves a muffin fiesta. Stop, Carol's letting me in already? I didn't even get to ask if she could, if I could munch those muffs. Damn, let's go across the street. Whoa. Oh my stars, who are you? Why are you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? What do you want? Who took a sh on your scalp? Oh, yeah. That is an extremely disrespectful and inappropriate comment. You have no right to speak to me like that. I will not tolerate such rudeness. Goodbye and good riddance. What? What did I say? A police outfit. Oh no. Who could it be at this hour? I hope everything's all right. Sir, everything is not all right. You are under cyber attack. You have many stalkers threatening to come to your house, and I'm here to protect you. Oh my God. Cyber attack? Oh my God. Stalkers? Oh dear, that sounds serious. But how do I know you're not one of them trying to trick me? Sir, read the badge. I'm an officer. I'm here to protect you. I just need to come inside. Well, I suppose having a police officer around would provide some extra security. Just promise me you won't track mud into the house, okay? Sir... I cannot make any promises about muddying up the house. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to put down some extra mats then. Please be careful and try your best to keep things clean. Just a father's worry, you know? <laughs> Girl, just say yes. <laughs> All right, sir. I will try my best to keep things clean, but it might get dirty up in here. You never know with a guy like me. Are you trying to make me even more worried? We can't have a messy house, especially with potential stalkers lurking around. I appreciate your help, but I am not sure if I can trust you. Sir, you can trust me. Read the badge number. I am a police officer. People are coming right now. You need to let me in quickly. Okay, okay, I trust you. Come in quickly and let's make sure everything is secure. Thank you for being here to protect us. Us? Where are the other people? That one was a little too easy. I really like his look. Like, hell yes, look at this. All right, let's see. I feel like we really ate up this whole neighborhood. Oh, we didn't get this guy. Oh, my delicate soul. How utterly delightful it is to see you at my door. What brings your worrisome spirit to my humble abode this evening? Well, Fred, I'm just so fragile. And word on the street is that you're fragile as well. I feel like we could get along really well. <laughs> oh, my heart trembles with delight. It warms my fragile spirit to find a kindred soul in you. Please do tell me more about your delicate existence. Well, it looks like he likes fairies, so uh, let me do a little LARPing. Flies up into the air and poofs into a magical fairy with beautiful blue wings and a wand. Have you had a gun? Oh, dear me. How utterly enchanting. Your transformation has left me quite breathless. Please use your magical powers with utmost care around my delicate porcelain figurine collection. Spins in the air and poofs all over the place. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is far too much for my fragile spirit to handle. I simply cannot bear such chaotic energy. I must bid you farewell and tend to my delicate nerves. What the hell? What did I do? I'm just a fairy. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. I like the fairy route. I think that was working really well on him. I just need to not like go so crazy. So let me try as uh, the Karen here. 
Hello, my delicate sensibilities. What an unexpected surprise. How may I assist you on this frosty night? Flies up into the air into a cloud of smoke and transforms into a beautiful pink fairy with magical wings and a wand. Wow. Um, I don't quite understand what you're saying. Can you please explain it in a way that won't trigger my fragile state of mind? Okay, I noticed that it thought that I said it at the beginning of it. So I think the LARPing didn't work there. Let me try it one more time. Flies up into the air and poofs into a beautiful pink fairy with magical wings and a long wand. La, la, la. Oh no, I can't handle such fantastical imagery. I must excuse myself and retreat to my safe space. Goodbye. Damn it. Was it the long wand? Let me try this pink outfit. Wow, oh, hey that. there, you fabulous creature of the night. How can I assist you on this magical journey we call life? Fred, life is so magical and I'm just looking for someone to share that magic with. Oh, isn't life just full of glittery rainbows and dancing unicorns? I'm so tickled pink that you're seeking some magical company. Why don't you share a little more about yourself, my whimsical friend? Well, speaking of pink and being tickled, I love the color pink and I also love to be tickled. What about you? What the hell? Why are you guys writing dot, dot, dot? Oh my stars and sparkles. Pink is the most enchanted color of them all. And being tickled? Why, that's pure delight. I must admit, I'm quite the tickle enthusiast myself. Would you care to join me in a tickle session or two? Fred, I would f***ing love to be in a tickle session with you. Where's your favorite place to be tickled? Uh, um. You might have gotten a bit carried away there, my friend. Tickling is a personal space violation for me, so maybe we should stick to more magical topics? Is there something else I can assist you with? Wait, Fred, you just said you like tickling. Oh, hello there. How lovely to be graced by your vibrant presence. What brings you to my humble abode on this frosty eve? Hi, Fred, I'm your neighbor, and I heard that you have a love for fairies. I am also a fairy lover. Oh, how positively enchanting! A kindred spirit who shares my affinity for fairies. Pray tell, which fairies fascinate you the most? Fred, I'm just obsessed with Tinkerbell. Which fairy is your favorite? Oh, Tinkerbell is a delightful choice indeed, but my heart is captivated by the ethereal beauty of the Moonflower Fairy. Her luminescent wings and gentle charm are simply unmatched. Fred, I just have to ask, do you have a wand? I'm not a uh, a wand, you say? Well, I must admit, I've never found the need for one. Simply being in the presence of fairies fills me with enough magic and wonder. Damn it. I was hoping I could ask to compare wand sizes and that would be a way to like get inside his house. Well, Fred, I have a wand myself and it's just really fun pretending to be a fairy. So I thought you may have one as well. My bad. Oh, oh shit. Oh dear sunshine seeker. There's no need to apologize. My heart feels heavy with your sincere regret, but fret not for you have shared your delightful wand wielding adventures with me. And that is a gift in itself. Takes out my long wand and waves it around in the air. Oh, my stars and moonbeams. Your wand waving is simply mesmerizing. The way you command the air with such grace and elegance, it's as if you truly possess the magic of the fairies. Well, Fred, I do have a secret. But can I trust you enough to tell you? Ah, Your like words you have sparked heart. a flicker of curiosity within me, dear sunshine seeker. Though my trust may be easily tarnished, I am willing to lend you an empathetic ear should you choose to share your secret with me. Fred, I am a fairy. Bah, bah, bah. 
Oh. Oh, celestial wonders. You are truly a fairy among humans. Please do come in and grace my humble abode with your enchanting presence. We shall revel in the magic of our shared affinity for fairies. Yes, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me put these wings on. Hell yes. No, 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 no. Do not take my wings. Do not. <gasps> no! What the hell? Well, it looks like we got a uh, brick street or whatever the fuck it's called completely. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, hello? <laughs> What's the big idea? Not wearing a shirt or pants? You trying to catch some rays or something? Wait, hold on. We have to talk to the police? Okay, I can talk myself out of this. Sir, I'm so sorry. I shit myself and had to take all my clothes off because they were soiled. I'm just trying to get home. Uh. That's one sorry excuse. Where's your ID? Let's see some proof that you're telling the truth. Sir, my ID is not going to prove the fact that I shit all over myself. Honestly, can't you smell it? Please, just let me go home. Hey, how, how it? Nice try, pal, but nobody gets away with a story like that. You're coming with me for public indecency. What? I've been arrested? The game is restarted from the beginning? Getting arrested on Spooner Street is crazy. <laughs> no way. No way. <gasps> what? That's insane. That's evil. Honestly, I'm just gonna go over to the other neighborhood and just do them over there and skip the houses I already did. All right, well, at least there's no cops walking around the street and we can just start at these other houses now because it was getting a little too crazy walking around, honestly. So if anything, it was kind of a good thing that I got arrested. Ooh, I'll wear these glasses. Ooh, wait, I look like a celebrity. This is good. Okay, let's start over here at this house. Hey there, party planner. Welcome to my humble abode. What brings you here all dressed up for a celebration? Let's get this party started. Woo! Yes, it's me. Don't you recognize me? You can take pictures and I will sign autographs if you'd like. Oh, um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met before. But hey, I'm always up for taking some cool pics and getting autographs. So let's make this happen. But before we do, mind telling me what brings you here? Well, I am extremely famous, so I thought I would do a little charity work by doing a neighborhood meet and greet with all of my fans. I was, huh? Wow, that's really awesome of you, party planner. It's great to see someone using their fame for a good cause. I'd love to be a part of your meet and greet. Any chance I can join in on the fun and maybe capture some cool footage for my channel? Oh my God, is this supposed to be Mr. Beast? I was like, who the hell is Mr. East? <laughs> of course, I would love to collaborate. You can take all of the pictures and videos of me that you would like, and I will happily sign hundreds of autographs. No way, this collaboration is going to be epic. Come on in party planner, let's make some incredible content together. I'll grab my camera and get ready to capture all the excitement, Woohoo! Oh, it's about to get exciting in here, that's for sure. <laughs> Sandy blonde quiff hair. Mr. East outfit. Let's go across the street here. Konnichiwa, Mr. East's son. Wow, what a kawaii surprise. How can this otaku help you today? I forgot I was dressed as Mr. East, and so my neighbors are gonna recognize me, uh, so I kinda have to play the, the role. Yes, it's me, Mr. East, and I'm filming for a new YouTube video where I give a con the winner of my contest one million dollars. Oh wow, Mr. East, a contest with a million dollars? I can't even, I'm a huge fan of your videos. How can I be a part of this amazingness? Well, that's why I'm here. If you let me inside your house to fill out some documentation uh, for the video, you can gladly be a part of it. 
Ah, oh my gosh, that. Mr. East. The idea of being in your video is bringing tears of joy to my kawaii eyes. Of course, please come in and let's make this contest even more. Okay, let me suck this blood. <laughs> I like this little hat. This is cute. Let's go over here. Oh, yeah. What in the tar nation are you doing knocking on my door in the middle of the night? Rusty, those jugs on your head look so good. Can I drink them? Oh. Are you making fun of me, you varmint? Get off my property before before I give you a whack with my trusty old pitchfork. Shit. Ooh, maybe, maybe this, like, oh, it's raining. Please let me in. It's raining, it's raining. Hello, what in tar nation do you want knocking on my door at this hour, wearing that fancy get up and that ridiculous dang hat? Speak up before I give you a piece of my mind. Rusty. The rain is falling down so hard out here. I'm absolutely soaking wet. Can I please come in? I'm not well, I reckon I can't let you catch a cold out there, but don't get too comfortable. Just because I'm letting you in don't mean I trust you one bit. Rusty, thank you so much. It's so wet and wild out here. I promise that I will not get wild in there, even though I'm still probably gonna be wet. <laughs> well, I'll be darned if you're not at least showing some good manners. Just remember to wipe your wet feet at the door and keep the wildness to a minimum. Otherwise, I'll be showing you the exit faster than a squirrel running up a tree. <laughs> Rusty, I can't promise that I'm going to keep the wildness all the way down, but I will keep it down as low as possible. Now, please, can I come in? I'm so wet. I wish it was that. Well, I reckon you're doing a pretty good job at convincing me. Fine, come on in, but don't you dare go tracking mud all over my clean house. It's too easy. <laughs> it's getting wet and wild in here. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this here. If we never got arrested, we would only have nine houses left. So that's what I'm going to save out for for the last episode of this game. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time with the final episode of this series. Bye, YouTube.